Okay, so let's continue the question paper series and today we are going to go for problem number four. So this is of 16 marks. It's an easier problem. I think we you can crack this very, very easily. Uh, so what's been given is this pictorial view of the object. By first angle method of projection, draw the front view in the direction of X. So this is the for the front and then you need to make the top view also that is part B of the question and then you've got sectional left hand side view along the symmetry of the object okay the the object actually is symmetrical about the a vertical plane which passes through somewhere here right exactly the center along this length you can pass a vertical plane through it and then you need to create this sectional left hand side view how to do that and much more keep watching this video this is going to be very interesting first of all let me just show you a 3d arrangement wherein we are going to rotate this object and let's visualize it properly take a look how's it how does it look okay so this is how the object looks it would be better if you can take a look from the front over here nice done visualized now let's take a look at it from the top done again now take a look from the left hand side this is the lhsv now what we are basically interested in is creating the sectional okay so the section is going to pass through the center somewhere here passing through the symmetry and this is how it looks one sec let me show you the section okay by the way we are making the left hand side view and if in the left hand side view you can see the section yes sir in the left hand side view if you can see the section that basically qualifies as the sectional left hand side view so this is exactly what we'll be creating you can see this grade portion over here this is for the hatching okay and this is what what you will be able to visualize from the left hand side okay so section plus left hand side view makes the sectional left hand side view done okay i think we can go ahead and uh, start making the solution to this case A very interesting problem and this is the visualization shall we go ahead here we go the first thing is to create the partition lines and here they are easy now take a look at the object and try to work out the dimensions the maximum length the maximum width and the height done so the length happens to be 60 you can see this the height is 55 here we go and oh even before that you have to i mean how high is the object so it is at a height of 10 mm the base of the object is at a height of 10 mm the back of the object is at a distance of 10 mm from the vertical plane i mean these dimensions uh, you can decide you can assume okay don't take it more than 10 to the left and to the right done all of these lines can be made lighter i'll do it you can't make it lighter once you make it dark so better to start your work initial to work with a 3h pencil and hold it very very lightly <laughs> then as i said this is 60 by 55 that is the length by height 60 by 55 and then as far as the top view is concerned in the top view you'll see 60 by 40 so that's 60 by 40 and thirdly in the side view it's 40 by 55 so this is 40 by 55 done now how do we proceed if you take a careful look from the front view you will definitely see this rectangle this x mark is for the front agreed yes sir we'll see this so why wait let's make it 60 by 40 40 or something else 20 20 okay done sir now what sir these lines are also going to be visible the true length of the lines won't be seen what you will see is the apparent view this is the length of that you will see okay this is this line will look like a line of this much length right until you reach here okay and then you need to go down then this way this way sort of a u shape let's do it both of them in fact this spacing is 10 right this is 20 total half of it will be 10 20 total half of it will be 10 let's do it easy now this is 10 so this is 10 assuming you are right here and then you need to go down 20 take a left 20 again go up 20 so this is what you need to do very easy 10 then 20 20 and 20 10 20 20 and then join them simple front view is almost done let me check yes it is done 
okay no need to worry now let's focus on the top view in the top view what you will see is sir uh, this is first of all what we'll see is this okay. 20 by 15 then we'll see this right again 20 by 15 and then we'll also see this 20 by 15 so let me make this 20 by 15 20 by 15 20 by 15 done okay sir now what <clears throat> these two lines separated by 10 millimeters again these two lines also separated by 10 millimeters let's implement agreed very easy now this one single edge will be visible clearly and let me make it done we are done with the top view we are done with the front view also now we just need to create the left hand side view what not the left hand side view but the sectional left hand side view okay. it's a special kind of a left hand side view so basically what we are doing is let's say we pass a section right and we take a look at it from over here okay let me say this is section 11 one one. so i can also write this as section 11 one one, right and let me have lines right you don't need to have lines from these two endpoints the reason being very simple even if you rotate them at an angle of 145 degrees you are still going to end up with the same vertical lines okay so let's say we are cutting it let's say this is your cutting plane this is the edge view of the cutting plane this is the edge view of the cutting plane isn't it and now we are looking at it from over here and you are creating the left hand side view okay so you'll see the section let me do that and uh, i think uh, the best way forward would be i have not included this in my animation it would have been better uh, make a center and then make a line this way okay please do it very very professionally let's call it as one one dash and then write one one dash over here right we are creating the section over here and we are taking a look at it from this arrow side and that is the sectional left hand side view let me complete this and uh, rotate upwards and from here also let me have the lines what will we see sir these two edges no sir we are actually passing a cutting plane somewhere along somewhere along this line isn't it we are passing a cutting plane so what we'll get to see is this uh something of this sort you're going to see a section and above the section you are going to see this portion also this is not a section but a portion that you will see and you are also going to see this edge over here once because after you pass a section through the center this portion has to be removed and then you have to visualize it how it looks okay so we can start with this and then uh, get a line down right uh, you can do the hatching or you can also make this edge and then do the hatching it's your choice done eight minutes and 20 seconds done okay and uh, if you want to make it look more professional as i said you need to start with a 3h pencil and then wherever you see these thick lines dark lines you can use an edge pencil overwrite them no problem okay so let me just uh, increase the tra transparency and this is how the construction work would look and here goes the dimensions easy peasy very easy okay 